Welcome to Gary Keep It Simple. Welcome to another devilish adjustment cassette video. <laughs> Hello again. Welcome to Gary Keep It Simple. This video is to wind up the people again. How to get accurate speed without using industry standard test tapes. This is the video I wanted to make on speed of decks. Tape speed. My previous videos on tape speed, particularly using a pre-recorded tape and running it with a streamed version of that tune was time-consuming, and quite mind-bending. If you watched them you will know what I mean. During that video I realized the sound bending. That was not expected, and it was a shock that it was so audible. It is a neat trick and may be useful. The whole stream and sync thing was not my idea and I only did it to see how difficult it was and if it was worth doing. I know it was a good result but wow. What a job. My preferred method is what I have for you today. It is still using a stream and a commercial recording of the same version of a track. I find Amazon Music is quite useful for this. However, this time we can get meaningful results with numbers so we can compare. Here is a picture of the sort of thing you are looking for, to be able to control or adjust the speed. Remember on some decks the controls are PCB mounted. Before you do anything on a deck, I recommend you make yourself a quick reference tape, that is a tape to be able to see what has changed. I recommend recording some 1 kHz tone, and a bit of music, that you know. On a tape, so that if you need to, you can refer back to see the differences in speed and tone etc. Note, this is not a substitute for a real test tape. It is your test tape, especially for you, and only you. The reason to do this is because you may set the deck correctly, and not like the fact that all your previous recordings will now sound like Mickey Mouse or Barry White, depending what way it goes. It is nice to be able to put it back exactly how it was. Here goes with the results. Remember, I have had to suppress the sound for copyright reasons. What you are about to see is truly what happened just edited for copyright and flow. The app is an Android app called Simple BPM, and it takes in the sound and analyzes it in a short time. The results are a very good way of checking the speed, and any change is quite quickly detected. So now, here we go. Okay, it's me again. Oh my god, is it going to be I'm on about the same thing, which is speed. Speed of the cassette deck. Now, the last video I did was all about syncing up with a track from a streaming source which was something that was put forward quite fervently on the Facebook groups as being a way of doing it. If you've watched the video you can see it is actually a very good way of doing it however you do end up with a lot of time and listening to the same tune. This is something I'm hoping that's going to be a little bit more productive and easier. So you see my Samsung tablet it's in there just producing some funny results. This is Dustin and there's my W1200 which is being used because it has that control there and because I can't be bothered to take a cassette deck apart just to twiddle with a knob when I can just twiddle with a knob. Now I'm going to have to mute the sound on this but I'm going to start it off and do it properly on this and then you can imagine how to do it yourself. So there I have a, a bit of software installed, which you can't see because I've got the battery pack on it, which is called Simple BP Detector. It's an Android app. And you've seen my amplifier before. I haven't moved it yet because I've been too busy making videos. And on here I have a streaming service, which is actually Amazon Music. And what I'm going to do is got to push a button. If everything's set up right, I should get a number on the tablet. So I've all pushed the button. I'm going to play Hot Chocolates. It started with a kiss. It started with a kiss. Playing. 
So this is if you sit there playing it. Okay. Without cutting. Right. Stop that one. This is so that you can tell that it's real. And I'm going to select the TV on the app. And now I'm going to press go button for hot chocolate. Well, before I do that, I've got to go from there. It started with a kiss. Now we've got numbers appearing. Now what I want to show you on here is to mute the sound thing for the copyright. I'm going to stop this. Right, that's stopped the stream. Now I'm going to select the cassette deck, which is that one. The numbers are the main beats, and... but they're relative. What I'm now going to do is alter the pitch control. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear it change. Getting different numbers. So I'll turn it a little bit up. Now we're going to turn it down. Now we're going to turn it lower. You can get it here, the pitch has changed. The numbers are changing, which is more important than anything else. But we know what the number should be, which we can get from playing the string. Change it back again now, so the numbers change again. We can, we can turn it right down, I'll turn it right down. This is 12% slower now apparently. See what the numbers come out down now. 173, 172.9. Now I'll turn it right up fast. Just, well, we're right into whatever it is. Back to what it should be. That's on the D10 now. That should come back in a minute. 227.8. Two beats a minute more. So the results are in.
The cassette deck is in fact running faster than the stream, but only just. On around 200 BPM, that's beats per minute, it is running 2 BPM faster than the stream. The numbers are unmistakable because it is the same tune, the same track, from the same album. The stream is obviously locked to the digital signal clock. The cassette deck has the same tune exactly, therefore it is valid to say the deck is running less than 1% fast. If you watched my sync to music tape video, I found the cassette was slightly fast. We did not know how fast, but it did originally start to leave the stream behind. Not much, but it did pull away. On the reference tape video, we found the cassette on the left of the unit was 0.55% fast compared to the deck that recorded the tape I used. The tape was YouTube music, no copyright problems. And now, we have proved that the speed on the cassette is 2 beats in 220 out. That is less than 1%. So the whole, you cannot calibrate without real test tapes, has been disproved, at least as far as speed. The results you have seen have cross-related and the numbers speak for themselves. They match and make sense. I hope you enjoyed that video. And remember, please please subscribe, like, leave comments below. Thanks for watching. More videos are on the way, just for you.